again poses a threat to peace, and the Middle East again becomes a trouble spot, as Iran's vast petroleum reserves arouse nationalists following seizure by the Iranian government of the British-operated refineries and distribution facilities. Demonstrations at the huge oil port of Abadan culminate in the tearing down of signs over company offices and the raising of the Iranian flag over the installation. Desperate mediation efforts are made as Britain appeals to the international court in The Hague and receives a temporary injunction against the seizure. The printing office at Abadan is barred to the publisher of the daily newspaper, while Iranians are permitted to enter. Publication of the paper is suspended during the crisis. Compromise offers failing the British cruiser, Mauritius is ordered to the port to protect the lives of employees and their families. Meanwhile, preparations for closing down the refineries go forward as valves are closed to halt the intake of oil into the already overtaxed storage facilities. Tanker captains refuse to load oil and give receipts payable to Iran. Evacuation of women and children by air is stepped up as tension rises. 2,500 British employees are affected by the order, while the sick are flown out strapped to litters. Only key operating personnel remain to guard against fire in the highly combustible area. Despite the spreading nationalist sentiment, fanned by Iranian board member Hossein Maki, precautions are taken to prevent damage to the billion dollar industry pending further negotiations. In Abadan's 125 degrees of heat, the international situation is explosive. <laughs> 